by a hell of a day out there at the office yeah. uh, and, and what seemed to be a very tough course. Yeah, it was um, pretty brutal out there. Um, the break took a long time to go. Yeah, had a few digs there and um, got dropped on the first climb because um, I kind of went a bit too deep, came back, got back on the front and just went again and um, yeah, managed to sort of force the selection off the front. And um, yeah, we're working quite well there and then uh, we got to the, I don't know, that other brutal looking climb on the cliff and myself and um, I forget his name now, the Lotus Sedal guy, we had well, for he, he attacked and I bridged across him and we just went for it and we're working quite well actually, I think we're moving quicker than with the six guys. And then I was secretly just hoping to get caught because <laughs> it was hurting a lot and then yeah we got to the circuit which was a bit exciting because you know if you're in a break all day you want to at least get to the circuit across the finish line and wave to the crowd. So that was nice and then um, yeah a lot of jumbo bridged across and I managed to stick with him. He tried to drop us and then I dropped the guys on the last lap and then a rompot guy came across and I got on his wheel and then yeah, got caught in. That was day done, but it was really, really a good day out. Uh, a lot of the guys, including Boston yeah. Hobby and a few, went on TV right afterwards and said this is far too technical a course, especially in the finish. One rider even said it was almost idiotic. What were your thoughts about the land? Because it looked as though at times they almost made the course up on the fly. Yeah, I mean, I was at the front with a clean road um, and it was dodgy. So I can only imagine if you're moving a little bit quicker behind, trying to catch us, and then you're, you're on the wheels. And um, yeah, I mean, you can get around, but it's probably unnecessarily dangerous. There's a lot of blind corners, traffic islands, potholes, blind speed humps. Um, in a way, it makes it exciting, but at the same time, it's probably a little bit unnecessarily dangerous. It's all good until someone gets really hurt and then it's not good, so, yeah. What does today's performance say about your form at the moment? How do you feel with the performance that you did give? Yeah, I think it's good signs. Like, um, it's so easy to mentally think you're not very good, you know, and yesterday I had a bit of a bad day. I was sort of staying with our sprinter and then I lost time and, you know, you get disappointed all down on yourself and you take that as you're riding shit, but really you're not. Um, yeah, so that gave me the chance today. I'm off the GC, I'm just go for it, have a good solid ride, and to stay away as long as we did, it's like a confidence boost. And particularly after coming off tour of Norway as well, where I rode at the front for God knows how long there, trying to get um, our guy back up to the front group as well. So came in with a bit of fatigue. So um, yeah, we've got Hammer Series starting tomorrow, so that that should be interesting. But yeah, it's a great confidence boost and the boys were there at the finish. I haven't talked to them yet on how it went, but um, all in all, it's a good day. At least it makes it feel a little bit better when you're so far away from home and family. That's it, you know, like, yeah, you're sacrificing so much just being here, so why not have a crack and the sun's out, the crowd's great, and um, yeah, it just feels good to get up front and do something, so awesome.